Hello, this is your guide for Wednesday, May 6th in Work Packet 4. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a word game on abcyeah.com. So let's get started. Please write neatly and don't forget your finger spaces. Practicing our sight words, we'll read the word trace the letters, and then write the word. We have take. Please take your shoes off when you go inside. Together. We went to the store together. There. That's their house. Them. It was them. <laughs> so pull out your pen or pencil, and we'll start with take. So trace the letters, start at the top, touch the bottom line, cross over, A, touch the middle, touch the bottom, up and down, K, E, and then down here, we'll write it ourselves. T, A, K, E, it's a little bit off, finger space. T, A, K, E. Finger space. T, A, K, E. And then do together, there, and them. And then practice your alphabet. Okay, let's move on to our digraph. And today's letters are U, R, er, like burger and turtle, er. Practice the er sound, like in burger and turtle. Er, er, sounds the same in both words. So we'll practice writing it over here. Touch the middle, touch the bottom, touch the bottom. Always try to touch those lines when you can. Finger space, you are you are and then finish the rest of the line please complete these words by adding er you are and then we'll sound out the word what it sounds like b bur ger burger s er fur surfer t tur tul turtle Cur, curly, S sir, surprise. In the word search to the right, find the er words mentioned above. So these ones, burger, surfer, turtle, curly, and surprise. Let's find a couple of them together. Oh, burger's right there at the top. And, oh, Curly's right under it. That was easy. You find the rest. And then, last one, draw your favorite burger below. So, it could be a veggie burger, or a chicken burger, or a Big Mac. Let's see. So, bun. I like big burgers. Patty, cheese, patty. Cheese, patty, cheese. Let's make it four. Patty, cheese, and a bun on the bottom. And maybe some seeds on top. Yummy. Okay. Let's go on to our daily language review.
daily language review. Number one and two will fix the mistakes in the sentence. Let's read number one first. I really want to go with you at the store, I told my friend. And then you see these marks here. Those are quotation marks. So we know someone is talking. Like this could be in a story or a newspaper. So we start with quotation marks. And then uppercase I. I really, so really needs two L's. Finger space. I really want to go with you. Should I say go with you at the store or to the store? I want to go with you to the store. Comma, quotation marks, because he's done talking, but the sentence isn't done. I still have to explain who said it. I really want to go with you to the store. I told my friend. I told. Out of room, so we come down here. I told my. And oops, I missed one. Friend, the E and the I are backwards. I told my friend. F-R-I-E-N-D, period. Number two, okay, but we has to leave now, she said. Okay, okay, but we have to leave now. That should be an A. She said, said, and she said. Quotation marks, because they're talking. Uppercase letter, because it's the start of the sentence. Okay, comma, but we have to. We have to leave, L-E-A-V-E, -E, now, comma, quotations, she's done talking, she said. Period. Oh, period on the line. Okay, next one. Add punctuation to the sentence. And number one and two, they're going to help us. We're going to need quotation marks and a comma and a period. Okay, so let's just read it first. Number three. First, I have to feed my puppy and bunnies, I said. So we know we need quotation marks because I said. And now let's figure out when she's talking or he. So at the start, quotation marks before the letter. First, I have to feed my puppy and bunnies, I said. So she's done talking after bunnies, comma, quotation marks. I said, period. First, I have to feed my puppy and bunnies, I said. That looks perfect. OK, let's move on. Underline the group of words that do not mean exactly what they say. Because sometimes people exaggerate their words like, oh, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. I, they don't mean they would actually eat a horse. They just mean they're very, very hungry. OK, so let's look for that word or words in this sentence. OK, number four. Oh, sorry about that. Number four. There we go. The store opens soon, so step on it, she said. The store opens soon. That's all true. So step on it. Oh, underline, not circle. Okay. Does she mean actually step on it? It's just an exaggeration. It means go faster. But you're not actually stepping on somebody. Sometimes people say step on it, like step on the gas when you're driving. But guess what? You should always go the speed limit because it's not about how fast you get to the store. It's about being safe. 
keeping yourself safe and keeping the other people driving safe, okay? So slow down. I know you don't drive, but when you do drive, it's all about being safe, not about getting there fast. Don't forget that. Okay. Let's read. Please read the story and answer the questions. The Ack family, A-C-K, sounds like Ack, Jack, Snacks. Jack isn't actually a word, so that doesn't count. So we've got Snacks, Crack. Hey, where's my highlighter? Snacks, Crack, and Sack. Okay. Okay, let's look at the pictures. That looks like a walnut. That looks like a paper bag, like a lunch, maybe a cookie or a pizza, pancakes. And this is a little wing nut. He looks happy. So it's probably a story about, well, Jack's Snacks. That's the title, Jack's Snacks. Looks like he has lots of snacks. Let's read the questions. Number one, what does Jack like? Number two, where does Jack keep his chips? Number three, what does Jack want to eat at the end? Okay, so let's pay attention to the food. Let's start. Jack likes many snacks. Jack likes to crack nuts as a snack. Jack likes to eat chips in a sack as a snack. Jack likes to eat a stack of pancakes as a snack. Jack wants to eat the cookies on the rack as a snack. Mom said, no. <laughs> okay. Number one, what does Jack like? That's the very first sentence. Jack likes many snacks. And uppercase at the start. Jack likes many snacks. He's a snack guy. I like snacks too. Oh, you know what? I don't like that S. I wish that eraser was smaller, but it's not. Many snacks. Let's touch the... Eh, it's not bad. Okay, period. Number two, where does Jack keep his chips? Okay, Jack likes to crack nuts as a snack. That's not it. Jack likes to eat chips in a sack as a snack. So in a sack. Where does Jack keep his chips? In a sack. Number three, what does Jack want to eat at the end? Remember his mom said, no. What did he want? Jack wants to eat the cookies on the rack as a snack. Mom said, no. The cookies on the rack? We can even just say the cookies. And you know what? We'll just say cookies. Uppercase. Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> okay. Remember if I went too fast, pause the video and rewind it. Or if you don't need help with this part, just fast forward, skip ahead. Okay, math time. Daily math review. Very loud people outside. Hope you can't hear them. Okay, daily math review. Number one, six plus six plus six plus six. Oh my. Okay, six plus one, two, three, four, five, six plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. Question two, six times four, multiplication. So I have six groups of four. Okay, let's think of it like that. Six groups of four. One, two, three, four. That's one group. Two, three, four, five, six groups of four. Okay, and then we can count them. Multiplication means 
six groups of four, or I'm skip counting by six four times. Let's think of it like this today. And I like to put a circle around it just to show that it's a group. Okay, so we know each one is four. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Six times four equals 24, or skip counting by six four times. Six, 12, 18, 24. Okay. You see that's faster, but both ways get you the answer. Number two, 48 take away 19, start in the ones place. Eight take away nine, can I do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, we can't go below zero. So what do we do? We borrow from the tens place, cross out the four, it turns into three, and I just took 10, so I give that to the eight. Now eight turns to 18, 18 take away nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three take away one is two, so 29. 48 take away 19 equals 29. So 19 plus blank equals 48. 19 plus this number will equal this number. Okay, 29. And we'll double check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure. So 9 plus 9 equals 18. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, number 3. Olivia's baby brother, Brad, weighs 11 pounds. Olivia weighs 77 pounds. What is the, the difference in their weights? Blank pounds. So how much more does Olivia weigh? So let's get the key info. Olivia's baby brother, Brad, weighs 11 pounds. Olivia weighs 77 pounds. What is the difference in their weight? That's the key info. So to find the difference between two numbers, we must subtract. I'll do it over here. Put the big number on top. 77 take away 11. That's how much the baby weighs. 7 take away 1 equals 6. 7 take away 1 equals 6. So the difference between Olivia and her brother, 66 pounds. Number 4. If 23 plus 7 equals 30, then blank take away 7 equals 23. Let's see. Just like we did this question right here, how we just went backwards to find out the answer, same thing here. 23 plus 7 equals 30. Blank take away 7 equals 23. 30 take away 7 equals 23. That's a nice trick to remember. can save you lots of time. Number five, write number sentences using seven, five, and two. So, oh, sorry, seven, five, and 12. Okay. So you see we have subtraction, uh, subtract, subtract, plus, plus. So let's see, 12 take away 7, does that equal 5? 12 take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, it does. So that's a number sentence. And then 12 take away 5, we know that's going to be 7. Now we're adding the plus sign. So 7 plus 5. What do you think that's going to equal? 7 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12. Okay. Now, can I do this? 12 plus 7 equals 5. Of course not. It just looks wrong, right? Because it is wrong. Okay. 7 plus 5 equals 12. This is a different sentence. 5 plus 7 equals 12. It's not the same question. Okay, perfect. Let's move down here. Number one, five times three. So instead of doing groups like we did here, let's do our skip counting. Okay, 
So five times three means I'm skip counting by five three times. Five, 10, 15. Five times three equals 15. Now, just like this question here, where we added this way, and then we know our subtraction is backwards, and we'll get the same answer. If we have the same numbers, it works for multiplication and division too. Five times three equals 15, and then 15 divided by five. So 15 divided by five will equal three. Right. Just to show you an example for division, we could also think of it like this. So 15, and we're going to cut it into five groups. So here's 15. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's 15. You know what? I shouldn't have uh, crossed them over like that because we need groups of three. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now we need to cut it into five groups. And oh, let's go red. So our answer was three. Let's check if we were right. So we want groups of three, and we should end up with five groups. Two, three. We'll do three here, and then we have one, two, three left over. So let me just move that guy down here. How many groups do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So 15 divided by five groups means there's going to be three in each group. Number two, adding Triple digits, same rule. Start in the ones place. Four plus three. Ooh, this is a mess. <laughs> okay, four plus three. One, two, three. Equals seven. Three plus five. Three plus one, two, three, four, five. Equals eight. And two, drop it down because there's nothing under it. 287. Next question, six plus three. Six plus one, two, three. Equals nine. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 4 plus 3, we did that over here. We know it's 7. 739. Number 3, color 2 thirds. 2 out of 3. So looking at this triangle, we can see there's 1, 2, 3 areas. And we want to color 2 thirds of it. So there's 1, 2, 3. Uh, but we only want to color one and two. So one and two, but not the last one. We just colored two thirds. Number four, complete the pattern. 19, 23, 27, blank, blank, 39. Okay, so to figure out the pattern, we got to figure out how many numbers come between 19 and 23 and 23 and 27. Because sometimes the pattern is more than one number. Okay, so 19 to 23. I'm going to use tally marks, and we'll count from 19 to 23. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's four. Now 23 to 27. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we know it's four. Okay, the pattern is four. So 27 plus 4, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31 plus 4, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and then 39. Number 5, Max and James went to the store. It took them 20 minutes to get there, 15 minutes to shop, and 20 minutes to get home. How long were they gone? Blank minutes. Okay, let's get the key info. Doesn't matter, they went to the store. It took them 20 minutes to get there, 15 minutes to shop, and 20 minutes to get home. So 20, 15, and 20. 
Let's add it, and we'll put the big numbers on top. So 20 plus 20 plus 15. Okay. So 0 plus 0 equals 0, and 0 plus 5 equals 5. 0 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now the tens place. 2 plus 2, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 equals 5. So they were gone for 55 minutes. Okay, one more page of math. And then we'll play a game on abcyad.com. mental math and we're looking at the hundreds place today okay this is like yesterday but not the tens place the hundreds place only the number in the hundreds place should change if you add it goes up and if you subtract it goes down so I did the first one for you so the number that we start with 546 and I underlined five because it's in the hundreds place. So if I add 100 to that number, the five will go up, up by one, because it's 100. So five turns into six. And then 46 stays the same, it doesn't change. Now if I'm subtracting 100, I'm going down 100. So five goes down to four, and 46 stays the same. Okay, let's do the next one together. Okay, 614, add 100, the 6 goes up to 7, the other numbers stay the same, 714. Subtract 100, we go down to 5. The other numbers stay the same. I'll do two more, and you'll do the rest. 347, we add 100, the 3 goes up to 4, and the other numbers stay the same, 447. Subtract 100, 3 goes down by 1, 3 goes down to 2, 4, 7, 247. Last one, 600, add 100, so the 100 place goes up by 1, 6 turns to 7, 0, 0 stays the same, 700. 600, take away 100, the 6 goes down to 5, 0, 0, 500. Okay, so pay attention to the hundreds place. These numbers, okay? Only those numbers will change. The other ones stay the same. Okay, good work. Let's check out ABC, yeah? It's a word game. and It's about synonyms and antonyms. So a synonym is a word that means the same thing as another word. And an antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. Okay, so you go on abcad.com, and so you click on grade three. And then go down, we're gonna be in the red today. It's on the left side right at the bottom here step right up synonyms and antonyms play <laughs> okay we're ready and press start and now here, press basic, and that's easier. You're just learning what this stuff is. Okay, so you can only do synonyms or antonyms. Synonym, a word that means the same thing as another word. Antonym, a word that means the opposite. So we'll do a little of each one. I won't finish the whole game. Synonyms, go. So words that mean the same thing. How to play, read the word at the bottom of the screen and then click on the bottle with the correct synonym. Match 10 and get a prize. Yeah. 
So tummy, what word means tummy? Mug, fire, keep, couch, stomach. Tummy, stomach? Got it. Rock. Keep, run, sleeping, lost, stone, odd. Rock and stone. Hard. Lost, odd, eat, difficult. Hard, difficult. This is hard. This is difficult. Let's do two more. Choose. Twirl, pick, gift, pick. Choose, pick. Dad. Gift, father. Dad, father means the same thing. Okay? And then you can finish the round. But I want to show you antonyms too. So synonyms mean words that mean the same thing. Father and dad, rock and stone. Let's do antonyms. Words that mean the opposite of each other. Same thing. Same game. Okay, left. What's the opposite of left? Right. Over there. Full. The opposite of full is empty. Near, past, open, top, empty. Full, empty. Antonym is opposite. Bottom, top. Expensive, cheap. Future, past. You see what I mean? It's the opposite. What's the opposite of finish? Start. Opposite of, opposite of few? Lots or many. Tight, loose. You tied your shoes too loose. Hate, love. She, he. He, where are you? There he is. Okay, we won a teddy. Let's click on prizes. Nice, we got teddy. Looks like you can get dolphin, a fish, a poodle, uh, I don't know what that is, maybe a Pikachu, a lion, cool, hooray, okay, so you try this one out, just remember, synonyms, words that mean the same thing, dad and father, antonyms, words that mean the opposite, full and empty okay check it out thank you for watching thanks for doing your homework and take care of yourself and au revoir